Let's construct an electrolytic cell with gold and zinc. So how much zinc is plated out if you allow one ampere of current to flow for 10 hours in this system with a gold electrode and one molar gold, a zinc electrode and one molar zinc ions, and what's the minimum voltage required? So let's look at this cell. Here are the two half cell reactions and their relative potentials, gold and zinc with the relative potential shown here. Now, if we just connected these two electrodes with a wire, we know the spontaneous direction. What would happen is gold would be reduced. So if gold is reduced, electrons flow to the gold electrode. And at the gold electrode, gold metal is plated out from ions. So gold ions accept electrons. They're reduced to gold metal. At the same time, you'd have zinc metal being oxidized to zinc ions, and that's the source of electrons for the reduction at the gold electrode. So zinc ions would be produced, gold ions would be consumed in the standard spontaneous galvanic reaction. So zinc ion concentration would increase, gold ion concentration would decrease. The mass of the gold electrode would increase, the mass of the zinc electrode would decrease. We're going to make this go in the electrolytic direction, though, by providing an external voltage. So the external voltage will force electrons in this direction. So electrons will flow from the gold electrode to the zinc electrode. To get electrons to flow in this direction, that means that gold metal has to be oxidized to gold ions, giving up electrons. They'll flow to the zinc electrode, where zinc ions will plate out to zinc metal and be reduced. So that's the electrolytic direction. And in this case, the gold ion concentration increases as the mass of the gold electrode decreases. And zinc ion concentration decreases as zinc plates out and increases the mass of the zinc electrode. So that's theoretically what's going to happen. Let's do some mathematics, little algebra and arithmetic to figure out the actual voltages. So here's gold and zinc half cells. Here are their voltages. Of course, in the electrolytic reaction, zinc will be oxidized while gold is reduced. So I'll reverse the zinc reaction and change the sign of the potential. I can then add these if I keep track of the number of electrons, so two electrons here and two electrons here. That gives me a two electron transfer process with a total voltage of the sum of 1.69 and 0.76 volts. So the overall voltage of the standard galvanic direction would be 2.54. I need to overcome that to go in the electrolytic direction. So the minimum extra voltage I need is something greater than 2.45. How much greater than, what kind of overvoltage I need, depends on the configuration of the system. But theoretically, just over 2.45 should make this galvanic cell go in reverse and plate out the zinc metal. Minimum voltage of 2.54 volts is the minimum overvoltage we need. Now, as current begins to flow at 2.45 volts, I'm going to let it go against the galvanic direction, and I'm going to let an ampere of current, 1 coulomb per second, flow for 10 hours, or 3,600 seconds. So that's 1 coulomb per second for 3,600 seconds is 36,000, excuse me, 36,000 coulombs. So 36,000 coulombs of charge are going to be transferred. Well, how many electrons is that? Well, we can, trans we can convert 36,000 coulombs of charge into moles of electrons using Faraday's constant. Faraday's constant is the charge in coulombs on a mole of electrons. So this corresponds to 0.37 moles of electrons transferred when one ampere of current 
flows for 10 hours. Well, how much zinc metal does that 0.37 moles of electrons produce? Let's look back at our chemical reaction. It's gold ions and zinc producing zinc ions and gold metal. It's a two electron process that I'm going to make go in reverse to, mo to make zinc metal. So 37, uh, point zero, 0 0.37 moles of electrons are going to react and it takes two electrons to produce a mole of zinc. And a mole of zinc has a mass of 65 grams. So overall, my 0 0.37 moles of electrons produces 12 grams of zinc. So this electrolytic process over 10 hours produces 12 grams of zinc metal.